Today, we use our power to fell a god, and then seize our destiny! All that I am is fading. The memory of a god's existence, born from the chaos of creation. What were you looking at? The sea? Hmm? I wasn't looking at anything in particular. If anything, Fiora, I was thinking. Thinking about the future that awaits us all. There it is. Melia, we're in sight of Alchemar. All right, I'm on my way. Phew. Guess we're still in one piece. <sighs> Quite. What in the world was that? It happened so quickly that I didn't get a good look myself. I saw some flickering around the capital. Then suddenly, a black beam. A black beam? Some new defensive measure, perhaps. The junks. Can it fly? Some components sustained heavy damage. It won't budge until we can swap them out. Right. It's fine. They're not particularly rare parts. They'll have them in Alchemoth. <sighs> you make it sound very simple. Remember, we are still very much in the dark here. Good thing I came prepared. We'll probably be needing this. Take care of it. Kino handle left side. Not 
Those voices. Uh, are those? It's Kino and Nene. What are they doing here? Shulk, we must help them. Of course.
Dare give up. Right, heal! Take this! <laughs> we win! I see your strength is the genuine article. Kino. That was amazing, you two. It was like seeing Ryan and Sharla fighting together again. Just so. Fitting for children of here upon Ricky's household. No injuries, Kino. Hmm? Nene, very, very sorry. Kino, not so good with strangers. Oh, really? Most interesting. Please do not take personally. If we stay here, there is a risk of another attack. We should move to a safer location. Very well. Is this acceptable? Plenty acceptable. Right. Let's go. This place looks promising. We can take a break here. So tell us, what were you two doing out there? Rather, how did you even get here at all? Melia, I think these two must have come on the junks. What? Are you quite sure, Shulk? When you consider their relative positions, I think it's quite credible. The capital on the Bionis shoulder. So... Ah... 
So that is where the Junks comes in, then. I appreciate it. But... Even though we won peace with Zanz's defeat, the rebuilding continues. Much remains to be done. I realize that. And I also know that you've been putting in every effort. So why then? If the capital is on the shoulder, there are people there. I thought you'd want to go. Shulk. That's... We could be there and back in less than half a day. Mama? Kino, follow Mr. Shulk from behind and do some sneak peekings. No, no, Sister Pong followed Kino and sneak peek on too. Me, me, me. Hmm. So you stowed away like I thought. But what for? Ooh. Kino always look up to Dead upon. Want to become mighty hero upon too. I'm certain Ricky would be most proud. But how did that lead to you boarding our vessel? He see opportunity to help people who are in trouble. That way, can become friends with people everywhere. Mighty Hiropon make friends with every toe step. Or so dead upon say, at least. I see. That does explain things. Many, many sorries. Fault of sister poem. He's not scored Nene. Fault is of Kino only. Kino. Sincere sorries. Kino wanted to repay debt. Dad upon a mom upon take Kino in when Kino all alone. You were alone? Is truth. One day, out of blue, Dad upon bring Kino home. Said here is brother upon. That day, nobody made comment. Everyone except Kino. Kino, what happy they could say. That why, that why. That they want to become hero upon and repay that to family. You know, really sorry. Kino. You do your family honor. Yours is a most noble sentiment. I am utterly certain that Ricky and Oka are proud of you too. Hmm. Actually, Melia and I are in a bit of trouble right now. We could use the help. For really? Uh-huh. Oh, you know, must. You really twist wing. But fine. Three sidekicks of Kino. Kino? Wrong word. Supposed to say, friends. So, we'll be heading for the capital to find parts for the junks. Yes, about that. It's a bit of a hike, but could we check out that cape? Explain. I'm a bit concerned. What you said about defensive measures. You fear we may come under fire again. Is that it? Yeah. It is true. Caution frequently pays off in the long run. 
The cape it is. Great. It's settled. Legend of Hero Porcino! It all stopped here! Genuine article.
Let us remain vigilant. Many, many bird people here. Are there really only high end here living here? 
Ho there, strangers. Ah, oh, hello. I see. You've had a rough time of it. However, I suggest you steer clear of Alkamoth. Even if you do somehow get there in one piece, don't expect the transporters to be running. Oh? Why's that? The thing that shot at you was no defense platform. It was a monster we've taken to calling the Fog King. The Fog King? Yeah. Suddenly showed up in Alkamoth a few months back. From what I gather, you're from the Imperial Guard. Are the swords you carry just for show? Taking a sword to it is folly. It laughs at our attacks. It's like hacking at smoke. Blows pass clean through it. Must be ghost! Ghost not shoot beams, dum-dum. So that's why you call it the Fog King. We fought in defense of our home. We were ready to die, and many of us did. But in the end, it won us nothing at all. The Fog King's attacks tore into us hard. Eventually, we gathered the Hyentia and anyone else we found, and gave up the capital, so that we might live. How awful. My grieving heart belongs there. Our heartland, our capital. <sighs> Yet I cannot even mourn it. <sighs> Maxis. Huh? Yes? Please, you have to tell us how to get inside. Shulk, be serious. Boy, are you hard of hearing? I heard you. Then you should know better. No matter the situation, we have to go. If I fix the junks, we can all leave this place. Then, once we're in Colony 9, we can make plans to retake Alchemoth. No point. Why not? Shulk, do you think we took all that lying down? Huh? We're not stupid, you know. We did all we could. It's true. I want to go home, but that's a dream that won't come to pass, and it already costs too many lives. <sighs> Maxis. I understand where you're coming from. Still, I have to be blunt with you. Let it go. Now what? Judging from the speech, I can't see us convincing him. So this mean we're stuck here? Quite a predicament, Empress Melia. Who are you? How do you know my name? I humbly beg your pardon. Gelgar, at your majesty's service. Formerly of the Personal Protection Division of the Alchemoth Guard Regiment. Is that so? Then the pardon is mine to beg, Sir Gelgar. And please, dispense with the Majesty. Perish the thought, Your Majesty. The recent war has rid us of the wicked purebloods. A new age dawns, and we half-breeds are chosen for its caretakers. With you, Lady Melia, as our shining paragon, I cannot but address you as Majesty. <laughs> I have no patience for weedling. Especially from knaves who spit on their ancestors. I would never dream of doing such. I merely spoke plain truth, no more. As you wish. But the... Majesty address is burdensome to me. If you absolutely insist. Until you deign to acquiesce, Lady Melia will have to suffice. So kind. 
Sir Gelgar. Make no mention of it, Lady Melia. Sir Gelgar, we really need to get to Alchemoth, no matter what. Ah, yes. I have heard your exchange with Maxis. Hindering the Empress's triumph. A narrow-minded fool, if ever there was one. <laughs> To begin the authentication process, one must raise their hand to the transporter. The device is configured in such a way that only some of the Hyentia in this land and the Imperial family may pass. Hence, Lady Melia should not have the slightest issue activating it. A similar mechanism to the tombs, then. That's our ticket into Alchemoth. Yes. Tasty news! Friend Galgor is good friend! Kind thanks, bird mister. Not at all. I am but a humble servant in Lady Melia's employ. If it not displease my ladyship too grossly, may I offer you my companionship on your journey? I have a modicum of skill with the blade. Please rest assured. I appreciate the offer, but must refuse. We do not lack for strength. Indeed. A great shame. Should the need arise, I shall remain ready to serve. Certainly. By the way, Sir Galgar, this outpost appears to consist of naught but soldiers. Where might all the other refugees reside? They dwell beyond the Grandel Ramparts, which lie below this point. They live at a remove from you, then? Yes, because of the Machina who live there. What do you mean? Might you have forgotten? When the war broke out, it was the Machina's treachery that lit the fuse. Were it not for them, we needn't have lost our brethren and our home. You couldn't stand the Machina and thus moved away? Precisely. But the war is concluded, Sir Gelgar. Some simply cannot let go so easily. Melia, shall we go see for ourselves? Ah, yes. Very well. Sir Gelgar, we will take our leave of you now. Do please take care of yourselves. You'll find passage to the capital through the Cragmore Caverns. Sir Gelgar, thanks for this. See you friend later. Please to be extra careful of self. The same to you all, 